Live from, Las, from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada, Forum Boxing presents the fight for respect as Virgil Hill battles Thomas Hearns for the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship. Well, as you look down at this ring at Caesars Palace, the weather, it's hot. The temperature 93, humidity 20%. A little bit of a wind here, enough to perhaps make it a little better, but it's still hot and muggy. Well, hi everybody, I'm Al Bernstein. Happy to welcome you on behalf of Forum Boxing to an evening of boxing that we think could have some historical significance in the history of the light heavyweights. Virgil Hill defending his WBA Light Heavyweight Championship for the 11th time, a remarkable achievement and doing it against the best known and perhaps the best opponent he has ever faced, Tommy Hearns, the man who's won five different world titles. But that is not all that we have. We've got a terrific night of boxing for you, including a couple of championship matches. First of all, the IBF Featherweight Championship, Troy Dorsey and uh, Alfred Rangel, they are fighting for the title vacated by Jorge Paez. That should be a good one. And the WBC Light Flyweight Championship, Melkor Cobb Castro putting his title on the line against the man who used to hold it, Chiquita Gonzalez, a big puncher. And we move into the heavyweights when Tony TNT Tucker, the man who took Mike Tyson 12 and formerly had a championship of his own, takes on NABF champ Orlin Norris. And, of course, there is our main event, Virgil Hill putting his title on the line against the Motor City hitman, Tommy Hearns. So seldom do you get an undercard and a whole card, really, that includes that much great boxing. We think it's going to be a terrific uh, night of boxing for you. And the gentlemen who will be at ringside calling it for you all night are two men I'm happy to work with. So let's go downstairs now to Rich Murata and Ferdy Pacheco. Thanks, Al. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this warm evening here at Caesars Palace. Uh, heat could be a factor. Who knows? We'll wait and see if that is the case here this evening as we get ready for the big fight, of course, between Thomas Hearns and Virgil Hill, but three world title fights tonight. But Ferdy Pacheco, let's talk first of all about the main event this evening, the light heavyweight championship bout. And Thomas Hearns is an underdog in this fight here this evening, but for all his outward expression, he has been a thoroughly confident fighter and seems very ready, at least mentally, to go into this fight. Well, what happens with an older fighter gets to an important fight like this, he goes into sort of a Bermuda Triangle of training. You train too hard, too long, and what you get is tired, not strong. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be fatal to him if his legs are not strong tonight. As far as Virgil Hill is concerned, everybody's telling him he's got to look so good, he just may stand in front of this cannon that is Tommy Hearns and take too much of a chance. That's what we're going to see tonight. Which one of them prevails? All right, well, that's coming up a little bit later on this evening, but first, our first uh, bout will be the World Championship fight between Troy Dorsey and Alfred Rangel. One thing we're going to be doing here this evening is giving you a look at the styles of the fighters as they get ready for the fight. First of all, let's take a look at Dorsey and Rangel's style. Troy Dorsey doesn't particularly subscribe to the feeling out process. When the bell rings, Dorsey's opponent had best be ready for boxing's version of a linebacker blitz. The Dorsey strategy is uncomplicated. Pin an opponent against the ropes as he did Jorge Paez, preferably in a corner, and then wail away with both hands. Keeping an opponent so busy defending himself, he has no chance at all of punching effectively. While not a one-punch KO artist, the cumulative effect of the Dorsey onslaught can be devastating when a fighter like former world champ Bernardo Penango has been worn down. Alfred Rangel doesn't intend to be cornered. He'll try to keep the fight in the center of the ring, at long range. Rangel uses his marvelous boxing ability and maneuverability to launch quick combinations. He gets in, throws punches, and gets back to a comfortable distance. And look for Rangel to throw punches from various angles. He doesn't do everything by the book. Coming over the top or from way down below, Rangel surprises his opponents. We are live at Caesars Palace where most of the fans have been waiting for the hot weather to subside a little and get right up till fight time and we're just about there now here in Las Vegas, Nevada for the first still seek something more. Forum Boxing presents Hill versus Hearns, Caesars Palace. He is the lesser known of the two battlers here this evening in our first bout. And we take a look at Troy Dorsey across the ring. And Ferdy, you've been with him on several occasions, and he is an action fighter to be sure. What? All right, between the two fighters here, you take a look at the height, the same, the weight just about the same. 
Dorsey's 28 years old. He was uh, involved in kickboxing before he became a professional uh, boxer. And Ferdy, what's uh, your situ the situation there as far as Troy Dorsey's concerned, going from kickboxing to boxing? He lacks the fluidity, the natural motion. His legs get tangled up when he wants to punch. But what he lacks in talent, he makes up in conditioning and determination. This is one determined, well-conditioned fighter. Now, don't forget we have three different sanctioning bodies. This will be an IBF title fight. So here's the rule book as far as this is concerned. The three judges will score the fight. A 10-point must system in effect. No standing aid count. The three knockdown rule for this bout will not be in effect and a fighter can be saved by the bell in the last round only. So we're ready for our first championship bout of the evening and let's go now to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Caesars Palace in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada as Forum Boxing Incorporation, incorporated in association with Caesars Palace, present the first of our four championship bouts for the evening. This is the IBF Featherweight Championship of the World. This bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, the President Robert Lee, Supervisor Bob Weitzel, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The officials, as appointed, judging at ringside, Glenn Hamada. Dalby Shirley and Paul Weitzel. Introducing the referee in charge, he will be giving instructions after the introductions, Vic Draculich. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant IBF Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first on my left. He is fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring attired in red trunks with white trim. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, his weight is an even 125 pounds. His record, 22 wins, 6 losses, 13 wins by way of knockout. He is ranked the number two contender by the IBF. Please welcome Alfred Ranghel. And his opponent across the ring. On my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this championship bout, wearing black trunks and hailing from Mansfield, Texas. His weight is 126 pounds. His record, 11 wins, three losses, four draws, with nine wins by way of knockout. He is ranked the number one featherweight contender by the IBF. Welcome a fighter they call tough. Troy Dorsey. All right, gentlemen, you received your instructions in the dressing room. Are there any questions? No, any, sir. Any questions from the chief seconds? No. All right, remember, obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now, let's get to it. This has been rated by the odds makers as a just about a dead even fight ever since it was put together. Troy Dorsey, the more well known of the two, Alfred Rangel in the red trunks across the way from Dorsey now. A guy who is not as well known but could have the type of style to give Dorsey a problem. And immediately Dorsey goes to that running across the ring, Ferdy. We've seen him do it so many times. He goes right after his opponent. He has legs of steel. He'll do that for 12 rounds. Remember, these guys have been standing out here waiting for the introduction for about 15 minutes in 93 degree sun. It's also going to be a factor how you turn a fighter around because the sun is right in their eyes. The guy that's the guy that's looking at the sun is going to have a disadvantage. Dorsey in the black trunks. Ironically, was a stable mate of Stevie Cruz and helped Stevie Cruz get ready to defeat Barry McGuigan several years ago, right in the Caesars Palace ring, and it was fought in terrible heat that night. And Cruz defeated McGuigan, and the heat was a big factor in bringing McGuigan down. Let's see if that uh, works to Alfred Rangel's detriment here this evening as well. Nice little right by Dorsey, but uh, Rangel caught it on the side of the head. Rangel has got to establish the distance like he just, just then. Move back as soon as he comes in. But Troy has that little extra kick that keeps driving you until you get to the ropes. When you're there, you're his. Well, you take a look at the two fighters, and Dorsey appears to be the stronger of the two. He just has that more impressive upper body. He is a strong guy and well-conditioned, to say the least. You know, as a kickboxer, he kicks 600 kicks a day. Unless he's training for a fight, and he escalates to 1,000 kicks a day. You know what? That makes your legs two steel cords. 
So he's ready to keep on going in this heat for 12 on, rounds if it's required. Amazing as it is, Troy Dorsey says he would not. There's a good quick right by Rangel inside as Dorsey was leaning in. But uh, Dorsey says he would not mind at all going back to kickboxing and may even have a, a kick fight this year at some point. Well, I think if he wins this fight, he can forget about kickboxing. He certainly wouldn't, wouldn't risk it because he's now on the verge of good paydays. Rangel is a cutie in, in there. He knows a, a lot of tricks. He knows how to box, how to move. And they'll look for him to to try to get inside, not to get inside, but to get in and out very quickly and get off quick combinations to Dorsey as he did there and then back away. His whole thing is the distance. He has to keep that distance between them and make him pay the price if he comes in. But he's already succumbing to Dorsey's kind of fighting. He's already standing inside. And it's only the first round. Good right hand. And there goes Rangel. Rolls over on his back. Vic Draculich now will pick up the four, kill, which is four. Five. He's, he's, not, not, he's not getting up. His leg is Eight. kicking like he's, he is Nine. not getting up. That's Eight. it. That's the end. First round knockout. A stunning first round KO Eight. by Troy Dorsey. And he did it with a quick right cross to the head of Alfred Rangel. What an impressive performance by Troy Dorsey. And Rangel is still down. His leg was, was shaking, vibrating, much like Floyd Patterson's was when he got knocked out by Ingemar Johansson. The Las Vegas Commission is very good on this. Good doctors, they're right there. They're working on him as he's laying down, which is just what they've got to do. Don't let him get up before it's time. And uh, we will see. Hopefully, he will get up and shake this off. Well, as we take a look at this, uh, you will see when we get back to the fight that it was a basically a one-punch knockout, a right hand. So much. So much. It, watch, watch this perfect right hand. Boom, right on the right on the money. You just don't get better than that. And so much put to sleep the uh, tag that he is not a puncher, that he can't knock you out with one punch. Dorsey certainly can. Let's look at it from another angle. You just can't hardly see a right hand land any better than this. Right over the left, and down you go. Good night. It happened just as Wangel was starting his own right hand. Dorsey beat him to the punch. Was leaning forward just a little bit, and man, did he come across it with well, all his power. It's a classic punch. Uh, Rangel put out a weak left hand, and he went right over it with the right hand. Dorsey did, and of course, I, I, obviously, there was nothing to it. He's short circuit and look at the joy and jubilation. A little, a little prayer of thanks, and back to the uh, celebration. By the way, when he got finished there with that celebration, he did a high leg karate kick as well. He is one happy man, Troy Dorsey. Ferdy will be going into the ring now. And we'll be having an interview with Troy Dorsey. But, you know, so much has been said about whether Troy Dorsey can punch or not. And in his fight against Bernardo Penango, he finished him off with a right hand in much the same fashion, although far later in the fight than it took him to finish off Alfred Rangel. Now we'll go up for the official time and the announcement of the knockout to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes. 37 seconds in round number one. The winner by way of knockout, the new IBF featherweight champion of the world, tough Troy Dorsey. Now much has been said about Troy Dorsey and his ability to plant his feet, do the things correctly, technically when you're talking about boxing, to be a power puncher. As you look at those statistics, 10 knockouts and 12 victories, most of his knockouts were coming by basically wearing down his opposition and then finishing them off in the late rounds. But here tonight, in a most impressive performance, it was Troy Dorsey in the very first round finishing off Alfred Rangel. Troy Dorsey is standing by now with Ferdy Pacheco. So let's go up to Ferdy in the ring with the winner. Oh, so much for the legend that you can't punch. <laughs> yeah, that uh, we put it, we put a silent on that little remark there. But first of all, I've got so many people to thank. But I want to thank the Lord most of all for making this this day well, for, for me. For once, we've done a lot of TV shows together. You got plenty of time. <laughs> we yes, got, sir. We yeah, got 12 we, rounds we tonight, so you can uh, you can thank them by alphabetical order here. Okay. Did you think it was going to be this? Let's take a look at the knockout if we can in, in the replay, and you will say what what, what you will picture perfect right hand. Well, can of the jab. It's uh what Casey and I had walked on. He was going down. I just kind of helped him there, a little push the back, and I was wondering if he's going to call it a slip or what. 
No. I, I, I figured I figured he was. <laughs> well, I kind of pushed him, so well, I got over to my corner and I thought he's going to be getting up. I turned around and as soon as I looked at him, I knew he was a big you, you, fighter. You weren't tempted to kick him on the way down, were you? No. No. <laughs> that, that's that's a couple of months from now. No. You, listen, come on. You're going to be a fighter now. You just won a title. You're going to go do kick fighting in I'm, the middle of of, 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 of this. We're gonna. We got him, guys. We're gonna do something maybe in August or October. I'm the world champion in kickboxing right now, and I'm the world champion in boxing. And I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna defend them. I, I'm not just gonna sit on you're, the title. You're not thinking of getting in the rodeos, are you? I mean, you're, you're, no. <laughs> what else can you do? No, those, you're the only guy in the history of both sports to have a title in both sports. Right. You realize that? Yeah, it's a. Uh, in it's, the whole world it, of that, all time. That, that was a lifelong right. goal. Of my, that was a lifelong goal of mine. And like I said, I have so many people to thank. My mom, Barbara and Warren. Billy my ni my ninny, my star. ninny Lee, happy birthday June first, and Billy Young in San Antonio. Boy, thank you for that sparring, Billy. Well, it's it's been a long weekend for you. You you used to train Curry. Curry well, lost, and now your new guy Dorsey has proven himself to be a tremendous. Well, it's been fighter. a grass spell for me, Ferdy, but this guy here I knew was going to make it uh, come true for us well, again, and he did it today in style. You know, Dave Gorman, the manager and very happy manager of yeah, Troy Dorsey. Absolutely. One of the best kids in the I all. think uh, I'm training right here. We work so Casey hard. Malone, we work trainer. we work so hard. I can't take all the credit. He deserves at least half the credit for putting me through the workouts. My cake, my trainer, I, I couldn't do without him. I don't know all what right. I'd do. We have him. finally run out of time and we're gonna go back to Rich who's dying to tell us more of what we've just seen. You know, <laughs> thank you all. All right, thanks, Ferdy and uh, Troy. And boy, I'll tell you, Dave Gorman might as well take all of his fighters for championship fights here to Las Vegas on hot nights. They've done very well. There's Troy Dorsey, the winner and the new IBF featherweight champion of the world, a man who has won kickboxing world titles on three occasions, and tonight he becomes a boxing champion for the first time. Dorsey, the winner. Well, as we look down at the scene here at Caesars Palace, a wild start to our night of boxing. Troy Dorsey showing to some show. And, of course, Tony Tucker against Orla Norris for that NABF Heavyweight Championship. And do not forget our main event, Virgil Hill against Tommy Hearns. Well, that one was a surprise to some people, perhaps. Perhaps Troy Dorsey winning early. You know, uh, Dave Gorman told...